The cards have all been dealt, and the chips are all in. You check your cards one last time to ensure your win. The ace, the king, the queen, the jack, and the wild card deuce. Or wait, was that the wild card seven? Or, or was it the joker? Don't you wish you had a key to remind you? This is exactly what key signature does for musicians. It shows what sharps or flats are used in a piece of music. The key signature is always shown at the beginning of a piece of music and comes just after the clef sign. The key signature varies from piece to piece and instrument to instrument, so it's always important for the player to check the key signature before playing. The key signature also clues the musician in to which key they are playing. But what does that mean exactly? Key is the scale on which a piece of music is centered. Within this, there's usually one home note that the key centers on. This note is called the tonic or the tonal center and is most often the first note of the scale used in the piece. If you were singing the scale, do, re, mi, and so on, the tonic would be do. So when you see a piece of music where the title indicates D major, you can assume that the key is D major, the tonic is D, and the notes of the song will revolve around tension and release of the note D. You can think of key like a solar system. The planets rely on the sun for gravitational pull, which is essentially how notes of a song rely on a key or tonal center. Most composers use a tonal center to make their piece understandable and to make the piece come together as a whole. Those that don't use tonal centers in their compositions tend to have music that sounds a little lost in space. The easiest example of key and key signature is C major. C major is every musician's favorite key because it has no sharps or flats. So the notes used are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And C is the tonic because it is the note that everything is centered around. But how can one determine the key of a song if it's not C major and it isn't listed in the title? Through some examination of the key signature and a few tricks, you can easily find the key of most songs. Let's start with the sharps. The sharps written in a key signature are always written in a particular order called the order of sharps. The order of sharps is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. This is a strange order to remember, but there are two tricks you can use. If you're a words kind of person, you can use a mnemonic device like fat cows get dizzy after excessive breakdancing. If you're a numbers kind of person, you can simply count. When written alphabetically, each letter note listed in the order of sharps is exactly five letters away from the next sharp. So if we number these sharps, starting with F sharp is one, G sharp is two, A sharp is three, B sharp is four, and C sharp as five, we can see that the fifth note away from F sharp is C sharp. If we need another sharp, we can call C sharp one, and counting through, we can see the fifth sharp would be G sharp. We can continue this all the way through the order, making sure that the letters are always a fifth apart. And we would arrive again at the order of sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. 